समे वे घर मेखे no matter what the test whatever come my way we gonna make it with jesus on our side things gonna work out fine we gonna make it This morning I stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene and I wondered how he could love me a sinner to death Lift up your voice and sing the song Oh how I'm singing Is oh, ah, ah, ah. my Savior's love for me It was for me In the garden He prayed Not my will but thine You know he had no tears For his own My verse right here. He took my sin, my sorrow, and he made them his very own. You know he bore my burden to carry. Suffered I, give his glory and sing his praise. For me, when we fell and saw in glory, his face at last I shall see. It will be my joy through the ages just to sing of his love for me. Let me hear you testify. Let me hear you testify. Let me hear you testify, my son. Somebody sing it. Is my savior's love? Lift your voice and sing it one more time. Oh, how I, 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 and my song, he shall. Somebody declare. Me. I have this tendency of being very tired and the minute I start to sing I feel my energy rising but today is not going to be one of them man. lift your hands and give him glory lift him up, lift him up, lift him up now let me see you wave those flags now once was lost in sin but Jesus took me in and then a little light from heaven filled my soul. Made my heart in love. And then it wrote my name above. What you say? And just a little talk with Jesus makes the right. Come and get you lift your voice and say, Come on and let us have a little talk with Jesus. Come on and let us. Don't you know that he will And he will And then you feel a little prayer will 
Ten years old, a little fiery. Burning. What you say? Just, Just a little talking. Jesus makes it right. Oh, uh -huh. I may have doubts and fears. My eyes may fill with tears. But Jesus is a friend who watches for me day and night. I go to him in prayer. He knows my every care. I just a little talk with Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13 to 14. Verse 13. Praise the Lord. And you have it say amen? amen. Okay, we're going to read together. It says, There had no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But will win the temptation also make a way of escape that you might be able to bear it. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And so we are living in a trying time. We are living in a testing time. We are living in a challenging time. When there are so many things happening all around the world. But the word of God is saying to us today that they had no temptation taken us, but such as is common to man. That is to say that every human being on the planet, we are going through our various different types of temptations. The enemy is trying us on every way. The, the Jesus himself, or God himself, does not tempt, but he allows us to go through temptations. Even Jesus himself, went through his own temptations. And he would allow us as his children to go through various, various testings and trials from time to time. But the word of God is telling us that it is common. So every human being sometimes look at somebody and you see them as if they have it so much together. I say, I wish I could be like that person. They seem to have it so nice. No financial problem, no health problem, no family problem. Everything about them seems so good. But it's only an external appearance. It's not real. Because deep within, that's why sometimes we are puzzled sometimes when you see somebody have everything to live for. And sometimes they still commit suicide. It's because they have a way of covering up what's inside. Some are feeling sad. Some are feeling depressed, some are feeling lonely. All sorts of things are happening to human beings that we can express all of it. But it's a lot of temptation to every human being on the planet. It's common. But God is faithful. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Never mind the temptations. Never mind the tests. Never mind the trials. The word of God has come to us to tell us today that God is faithful. Somebody shout it out. Faithful. Hallelujah. And this faithful God will not suffer us or he will not allow us to be tempted above that which we are able. That means everything he gives us, he knows we can handle it. He knows we do not have to buckle on the need of it. God is faithful. Hallelujah. And the beautiful thing about it is that he says here that in the midst of the temptation, he will win the temptation also make a way of escape. Hallelujah. Somebody say escape. escape. Hallelujah. I came to tell somebody today that if you find yourself in the midst of a jam, in the midst of a test, in the midst of a temptation, and you can't see the way out, you do not need to panic. Come on. You do not need to give up. You do not need to say, poor me. You do not need to say, I'm finished. 
finish now. If you come to the end of your road, tie a knot and hold on a little while longer. Because help is on the way. Glory to God. Because he will win the temptation. Also make a way. Somebody said God is going to make a way, man. God is going to make a way. Hallelujah. And it's a way of escape. That is to say that whatever we are going through is not going to finish us off. Whatever we are passing through is not going to kill us. Because there is a way of escape. Somebody give God thanks for a way of escape. Yeah. Hallelujah! God is going to make a way of escape for us. We're going to get out of it. If the enemy tell you, I got you in a jam and you're all over now. Somebody begin to give that thanks in advance. The way of escape is coming. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's going to make a way of escape. Hallelujah. That we will be able to bear it. Hallelujah. Father God, for the way of escape today. It's not over till God said it's over. And it can't be over until we win. Sometimes the enemy say, man, you finish, man. Give up now. You can't see that the battle is too hot. You can't see the battle is too tight. You can't see that you're cornered up on every angle. Can't you see that it seems as if everything is closing in on you? And sometimes it seems as if sometimes when you just get out of one situation, you find yourself in another. As soon as you just overcome one temptation or one test, you find yourself in another. And you know, I, 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 I kind of got to go back to Brother Joe because he went through a series of testings one day. He lost all his weight, he lost everything, all his children, one go. All the report just kept coming one behind the other. Your cattle is gone, your oxen is gone, everything is gone. When he found himself in that situation, he went down on his knees. And he worshipped and he said, naked I came into the world. Naked I shall return. The Lord give it and the Lord take it. But blessed be the name of the Lord. Somebody give God a praise offering in the house. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But the enemy was not finished with him yet. And the enemy said, Job will still serve you once he's in good health. But let me touch his body and bet you he's going to curse it to the face. And the Lord allowed Job to be tempted another time. And he had boils from the top of his head right down to his feet. You ever see chicken pox? It was something like that. Or worse. He found himself sitting in the ashes, mourning and lamenting. He was bad enough to lose all he had. The man turned from the richest man in the east to the poorest man. No more wealth, everything gone. And when he think that that was the end of the story, but a Job found himself in such a position that even his health was gone. So when you lose your health, you lose your children, and you're in bereavement and all like that, and your health is gone, then you really at rock's bottom as it were. And the wife thought to herself, it's no longer persisting any longer job. It's no longer no make no sense to serve God any longer. All you have to do at this point, you can see that the things have turned for the worse against you now. You might as well curse God and die. But the devil is a liar. We can't curse God. You know, I, I thought of the apostles when Jesus said to them, Will you also leave me and go about your business? Because so many have left him. And Peter said, to whom shall we go? You alone have the words of eternal life. So no matter who you are tested, no matter who you are tried, no matter who you are tempted, whatever you are going through in your, your life, you still have to stick with God. The solution is with him. And we find that when Job wives tell him to curse God and die, Job said, you talk like a foolish woman. He said, Thou is me, yet will I trust him. Come on, somebody. Yes. Hallelujah. All my appointed days, I'm going to wait until my change come. Hallelujah. I know that my Redeemer lives. Come on. Hallelujah. It's not over till God said it's over. And it can't be over until we win the battle because we are on the winning side. Come on. 
If God be for us, who can be against us? Job has his integrity with God. Hell is integrity in God through the thick and the thin. And when he went through all that he went through, it seemed as if everybody abandoned him, couldn't even find God at one stage. Said, I'm searching for God. I can't find him left. I can't find him right. I can't find him where I normally find him. But he said, God, I don't need to find you because you know where I am. You know the way that I take. Hallelujah. And when you have tried me, I am going to come forth as pure gold. Come on, somebody. The testing you're going through is for a reason. The trials you're going through is to bring you to a good end. The problems that you're facing today is to bring you into your destiny. Hallelujah. So I came to tell somebody, hold on a little while longer. God is up to something. The test is not to destroy you. The test is not to kill you. The test is not to mentally derail you. Some people, when they go through certain situations, they become even mentally sick. Because the stress comes down on the mind too much. And they can't focus as they ought to focus. But we want to keep our minds focused on the Lord today. We want to keep our hearts and our spirit meditating on the word of the Lord through the thick and through the thin. Because after he has finished tried us, we are going to come out like pure gold. Hallelujah. Somebody say pure gold. Hallelujah. God is going to bring us out. And he's going to bring us out. All right. Hallelujah. And when we went through our testing, how we went in when we were tested, that's not how we're going to come out. The Lord is going to bring us out on another level. Come on, somebody. The word of God tells us that the latter end of Job was a lot more glorious than the beginning. The Lord prospered the ending of Job so much that whatever he had before he was tested, at the end of the temptation, he had twice as much. Somebody have to give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah! Because after you've been tried and you've been to your temptation, God is going to bless you with double for your trouble. Come on, somebody. After he tried you, you're going to come forth like pure gold. You're going to be shining. Somebody's going to want to know, this is the same person who went through all that he went through. God didn't design it to kill you. The temptation is not designed to bring you to naught and to bring you to zero. Hold your integrity in God just like Job. Because God is still faithful. And he said he's going to make a way of escape. We don't know the way he's going to make. We can't see the way but he's the way. He's the truth and he's the life. And he's going to make a way of escape that we're going to be able to be with. Somebody ought to give God some praise for deliverance. Deliverance is around the corner. Hallelujah. All we have to do is to hold on a little while longer. And change is going to come. Somebody give God praise for change. Hallelujah. 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 There's a change coming. Hallelujah. And everything is going to be all right. Hold your integrity in God, my brother. Hold your integrity in God, my sister. And God is going to work it out. All right for you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray at this time. I don't know what kind of temptation you find yourself up against. But it's only common to man. But God is faithful. And he's not going to allow you to be tempted above which you're able. But he's going to make a way of escape. Hallelujah. Up against the temptation today, you don't see the way of escape. But you want to say, Lord, I am depending on you today to make a way of escape for me.